Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing this I look using the little packet package from Tarte called Sex Kitten. This palette is so cute. I mean, I love the packaging. I love the little kitten. Um, the name is a little naughty, but let's um, look at what this eye palette has to offer. So we have um, several colors here, and as you can see, possibly maybe the palette's a little, we got some fallout. We do have some fallout on this. Um, I, on my eyes, use some RAR up underneath the brow bone. I use some Sly all over the eye. I use some paw in the crease coming down towards the inner corner. Then I used some Cunning for about right here to here. I used Prowl going from right here to here. And then I used some Wildcat to go along the edge and just kind of blend that out. Then I tr used the color Secret, and that is what is giving us, the, or me, the us, that's what's giving me the highlighter um, color today. So I wanted to try that, and then I added a little bit of it on top of my matte lipstick. So those, I basically used all the colors with the exception of Feline. So if you wanna see how I created this look, um, please stay tuned. Okay, we're getting started doing this eye look on this side using the Tarte Sex Kitten. So I accidentally got overzealous and actually did the, a bit of the eyeliner. So to catch y'all up on what I've done, I started out using the color Wildcat and then I picked up the color br Brow, Prowl and finished out the blue there. So um, I did that so that I could have a guide going up and then we, I will show you how I created the rest of this look. So here we go. I took the color Sly and used that all over the eye as a base. And this does have fallout, so I'm not sure if you can see, but we're starting to get the, it already looks like a hot mess. So this one does have a lot more fallout. Okay, next we're gonna take the color Paw we're gonna go into the crease and down towards the waterline. Even though these have more fallout than I'd like, they still blend really well. So, you know, I'm just going with it. Next, I'm gonna take the color Prowl, which is this dark blue. And I'm gonna do that on not two, maybe it's a third of the eye. And I'm gonna go to my guide over here and I'm just gonna kind of pat, pat and swirl. Then I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna pick up this color here. It's a pinky mauve called Cunning. And I'm gonna go over almost into the inner corner, kind of going in a cut crease. And then I'm gonna bring that into Prowl. With the other side of the flat brush, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the RAR and just kind of place that right in that inner corner there. I'm gonna pick back up the blue br the brush I did with the blue in Prowl and I'm just going to go slightly over where I brought um, Cunning it with Prowl and just kind of soften that line. I'm gonna go back in with paw, and again, just kind of go a little bit over that blue from Prowl, and soften that line. Next, I'm gonna use the color Wildcat, 
And this, I'm just going to, again, go on that little area that I had as a guide with Wildcat earlier from the lower lash line. And just kind of put it in that outer V and work that in a small circular motion. I don't really want to cover the color prowl. Is that prowl? Yes. Um, I just want to deepen the edges with that brown. So I want to still be able to pick up that blue right about here and then deepen right along here. We'll take another tapered brush here, pick up a little bit of the raw, and we're going to go right up underneath the eyebrows. And speaking of eyebrows, I'm going to take the Brow Gal by Tanya Crook Eyebrow Gel. It's just nice and clear. And I will go through my eyebrows and get those shaped. I'm going to take a pointed crease brush. Um, I'm going to go back in with the color Paw. And lightly go over the color Prowl and the color Wildcat. And if you don't like how... If the line is too much, just go right back over the top in little circular motions and you can soften that line. For under eyes, um, I always like to use a nice waterproof. For my eyelashes, to get that false eye look without having false lashes, I'm going to use the Lash Intensity Mascara. And I'll have a link below for Miss Mickey J. So if you'd like to try some, you can try her web link on Mary Kay. Stop the presses. All right. So we're going to use some e.l.f. And this color is in coffee to line the upper, to line the upper line. I'm the upper line. I know I'm the we're going to use the e.l.f. and coffee to line the upper lash line. Now we're going to use my favorite mascara, Lash Intensity Ants by Mary Kay. If you want to have the look of false eyelashes without having false eyelashes, I love this one. Um, and I have a link below for my favorite Mary Kay person, Mickey J. Um, hey, Mickey J. We love you. So we're going to apply two coats of the mascara. Now they have the color in here called Secret, and so I'm going to see, it's got a lot of like shimmer in it, and I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but um, I'm going to try to see how this works as a highlighter. It's a kind of nice, uh, soft and simple highlighter. Um, and again, as you can see, look at that fallout. It's crazy. <sighs> all right, I'm going to go do my hair and then give you all an update and kind of let you know what I thought about this palette called Sex Kitten by Tarte. And I just used that color secret to put a little shimmer on my matte lip also. So I thought that could kind of make it a little more fun. You never know unless you try. All right, so I'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and semi-review in the beginning. Um, so I started out talking about this palette in the beginning, went into the tutorial, and now I'm going to finish it up. So I love Tarte. Love, 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 love Tarte. Um, their packaging is always cute. The smell, now if they were scratch and smell-o-vision, um, you would love the smell.
it's almost like a nice um, vanilla soft. It's not overpowering. Um, I've had other palettes that are really more in your face as far as the scent goes. This one is not, so it's kind of nice. If you don't have a strong sniffer, you probably won't even know that there is a smell to the palette. So I love the colors. The color combinations are absolutely beautiful. You can get many looks from this palette. Um, I've mentioned a few times through the um, tutorial that there is a lot more fallout than I like to see. The colors, though, blend very well and are soft. I mean, you don't, as you can see, I'm not the greatest blender for eyeshadows, period. So um, I did not use an actual blending brush to soften the lines. It just kind of happens with the Tarte products for me easier that... I just have an easier time applying them and getting the colors to really blend well and not be muddy. So again, um, I really enjoy these little Tarte products that get put out. Plus, if you travel, you have multiple looks in a, what would be a small, almost size of a tiny Z palette. So it's just great to be able to take these, throw it in your purse or your luggage, have a couple different looks. You can be gone for a weekend or a week and get several looks out of one palette. So for me, in traveling, I enjoy these because I can pick up one or two and have a look, you know, several, several looks for a week and, and kind of interchangeable. So once again, Tarte, love your products, love the smell, love the blendability. Eh, the fallout's not exactly the best um, since it does have more fallout than I typically like, but because everything else with your products are so amazing, I can overlook some fallout. No big deal for me. Anyways, I hope you had a great day. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and review on the sex kitten. Wow. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice to make it a beautiful day.